You should find a nice young man to keep you warm in the meantime. You look nothing to see here. Yes, yeah, sorry, I cut you off. Anybody here seen my dad? See, it's like these stairs and things, and later on, in the next game, they become relevant. Alright, so now we're going to go talk to uh, Samara on the ship, and then we're going to go to the Citadel again. I think we'll start with Thane, maybe? Thane's is pretty cool. No messages for you, Commander. I think she's downstairs off the elevator to the left. Kasumi's off to the right. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. You said that Morinth was a monster. She was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. Killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. The Samara is just as ruthless as we are. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari exclusive pairings. I don't know. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. I mean, you don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. I should go. Of course, Commander. Thank you again. What's this area of the ship? This is one of the ship's observation decks. They provide a sweeping outside view for off-duty personnel. This room is a structural weakness. Any transparent material is weaker than our armor. The elusive man predicted you would object. In combat, the observation rooms are sealed and depressurized. Sheets of ablative armor are extended to cover the windows. 
Yeah, it's not until 3 that you can open and close it though. We'll feed our fish. To the citadel we go. Alright, we're going to take Thane and Garrus because we're just going to keep them both for this whole thing. I love these guys. This recruit is a 20 kilo ferris slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot! Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes sir. You'll have to wait for the next shuttle. You made me miss the last one. You. You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I know CSEC too well to believe that's true. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here 10 years ago. I don't remember if we heard Garrus's or not. I want to know when the next shuttle will get here. There's one every 10 minutes. I don't want to wait that long. I can't make the shuttles go... Dude can't wait 10 minutes for a shuttle, huh? Yes. I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? Yeah, if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Yes? My associate's trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. 
There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Commander. Laugh it up, Garrus. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. What was it you called, Mouse? The duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducks dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy is running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked Zakara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice, because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolya plans to assassinate someone. I also didn't tell him what you do for a living. Do you normally discuss assassinations with the police? I take your point. Thank you, Shepard. be more difficult. No, that's fine. I got some quarians who can strip the copy protection. Just cost more. Yeah, I got the package. It'll be there. Don't worry. I'll deliver it myself. That won't happen. You can count on me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You won't be disappointed. Well, I just need a bit more time. It's not my fault. Nobody told me the package was in two parts. Yeah, I know. I'll get it. Don't worry. End of day, no later. You can count on it. I... I understand. That, that won't be necessary. I'll throw in a copy of the Shepherd VI. Hey, the Volus worked real hard on that. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You, Mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. That's right. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. We need you to answer some questions. And the people I work for... Look, I can't answer questions for just anybody. But you can for me. You gave another drill instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for... We don't have time for this. Oh, oh God. Thane, help me. Help me, Mouse. My son is out there. In the dark. That's why I carried for him. 
thought you'd want me to. Please. Explain. He came in, said he was looking for work. He had a hollow of me, the, the one you took, Krios. I put the word out. Use your old contacts. Elias wanted to hire him. Elias Kellum. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shen Akiba. He's seriously bad news. Oh, I missed the chance for the VI? Saved yourself a world of pain, kid. Yeah, right. When Kellum finds out what I've done, I won't live long. And I can't do anything about it but hide. Krios, you got any kindness for me? Put a bullet in Kellum before you go. I should have done the VI first. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees, bare feet black, a dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then, but I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm. Smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios? He asks. Let's head back to Bailey. That's all right. Hey. Didn't need the BI anyway. We would have got more credits from though, because the renegade option there is uh, get him to pay us. Yes. Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse. Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Oh, shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. You want to accept bribes? Fine. I don't care how you run your precinct. I want to know if you're going to help me. Yeah, I'll help. Absolutely. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight, and if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? So, when you, you as in who? Me or them? I want to be the bad guy. I 
Can I save it? Convince him that we'll put a bullet in his head if he doesn't talk. Once he's scared, he'll cooperate. Very well. I'll pretend we're ready to kill him. We can't push too hard, the, though. We need the uh, information. So that was the other way around. Corpse. I needed him to be the good cop. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. Who the hell are you two? My name's Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Prove it. I don't have to prove anything. Spectres are above the law. We clear? Crystal. Good. Now, fortunately, I'm not after you. You contracted an assassin. Who's the target? Joram Talid. A Turian. He's running for office. He lives in the 800 blocks. Thanks. You won't see us again. No offense, but you're a problem below my pay grade. That may go down in history as the shortest interrogation ever. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? You haven't heard what the aliens have been saying? They think the Council died because our fleet refused to save them. That we stacked the new Council with humans and yes-men. Anderson does his best to be diplomatic, but they act like we're jack-booted thugs enforcing a coup. I don't give a damn what Joram's politics are. This is about Thane's son, not him. You might not care, but the people who live here do. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. I will. And I'll do it through legal processes, not by a coup attempt. And don't forget, my friends, there are treasonous elements in our own house. The humans seize power by themselves, but they can't hold on to it without the support of the lesser races. This doesn't stop here. I won't rest until the humans have been removed from power. Other races wait patiently for hundreds or thousands of years to earn an embassy. Do the humans? No! They conveniently show up right after the Council's been killed. They surround us with warships. They dictate terms. That's not how we do things. We respect tradition. Humans think anything ten years old is obsolete. Worthless. How can they contribute to a 2,000-year-old government? Have we seen anything good since the humans moved into Zakara Ward? <laughs> I like their food. <laughs> I'll have to take your word for that. I can't eat human food. But I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of Cole yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day.
of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. Target in sight. Stay close, Shepard. Where is he now? Yes. He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. You're running for office. Lots of people watch you. Yes, sir. for this. Fane. I saw. He's heading to Talid's apartment. Call yet. This. This is a joke. Now. Now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. c -Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. What the hell? Talib, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father and I have killed a lot of people. You haven't. There's no reason you should start. I read his files. What made it all right for him to kill all those years? I was six when the Hanar began to train me. I didn't know any better. Your mother woke me from my battle sleep. Then why did you leave her? Why weren't you there when she died? Your mother, they killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the deep, I went to find them. The trigger men, the ringleaders. I hurt them, eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Yet I've taken many bad things out of the world. You are the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Koliat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSAC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Someone like that is trouble you don't want to deal with. Someone's got to deal with it. Doesn't have to be me, though.
Let it go. Our problems are... They are something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. That kid goes through the system, we both know he's there for the rest of his life. Those guys were a waste of skin, scales, whatever. If you've got another suggestion, I'm listening. Give him a job. He can work off his debt to society and you can keep an eye on him. It sounds like more work for me, and I can't just deputize him into CSEC. You have to go through channels. I didn't say have him work for CSEC. I said have him work for you. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. All right, now let's go to Garrison's. That's up. We need to go down. Down is on this side. Welcome. This That's not what I wanted. I wanted to run. That's all for Thank now. you for using Avena. Thank you. Can I run now? That's a lot better. Uh, I can't believe these humans. No fly lists. What did they turn this place into? I overheard you talking. Having a problem? Ah, uh, a human. Your kind is always shoving your way in to solve the galaxy's problems, aren't you? Look, little girl. When you need a problem shot, ask a Turian. When you need a problem talk to death, ask an Asari. When you need a new problem, ask a Salarian. When you want a problem fixed, ask a human. Like you fixed the council? If you'll excuse us, we don't want to talk with your kind. What do you want? It seems I offended you. That wasn't my intention. Your attitude offends me. The smugness, the arrogance. All humans are like that since you let the Geth kill the real council. Now, the galaxy's in chaos. Pirates are striking in civilized clusters. Armed CSEC officers are everywhere for our protection. And you swagger up to me, dump your chest, and tell me that only a human can solve my problems. <laughs> Screw you. Um. You can sit here in your cushy chairs, sipping drinks and bitching about humans because we saved your asses two years ago. That's not... If it weren't for the Alliance fleet, this station would have fallen to Sovereign and you'd all be Reaper Chow now. You're welcome. Enjoy your drinks, ladies. What do you want? It seems I want to see the you. other part. That wasn't your my attitude. No. And you swagger up. Look, miss. I personally did not make the pirates attack or post guards on every street corner. If you want help, I'll try to provide it. Otherwise, I'll go away. What do you have to lose by talking to me? <sighs> Fine. Since your kind took over the council, they've added new security checks and travel restrictions. All to keep us safe, they claim. We've been flagged as a potential risk for Geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. Why would they consider you a risk? You're obviously not Geth. I don't know. They wouldn't tell us. We got on a list somewhere for some reason, and they won't tell us anything because it's classified. Who won't let you board a ship? I don't know who made the decision. Some pencil pusher at the shuttle port told us. The one outside the CSEC station? I'll see if I can get it sorted out. I'm not holding my breath. 